All right, parents, crazy fun fact for you. Did you know your baby's central nervous system or their brain doubles in size during the first year of life and then it continues to double all the way up until almost seven years? So the reason I say that is because if that is growing that fast, we need to make sure that system is working at full function all the time. So a nervous system or central nervous system assessment any pediatric provider can can do is is probably going to be the most important one, right? The problem is in traditional medicine, we rely primarily on symptoms in our society, right? We look for the obviously pathology on a standard exam like a blood work, MRI, EEG. That's not what we do at PwC Chiropractic. We want to look at the deeper nervous system. We wanna look at the function of the body. And that's why we use a technology called the Insight Scan System. These accurately assess the health and function of what the central nervous system is doing. So if your child is struggling with colic or crying as an infant, tantrums, meltdowns as a toddler or preschool age kiddo, even if it's like motor coordination or sensory struggles, we wanna know what the body is doing and what the body is telling the brain and the brain is telling the body. That is so, so key because kids can't tell us how they function. They can only tell us how they feel. Now, a lot of times pediatricians will dismiss a lot of these challenges that we deal with as parents, whether it be colic or sensory struggles or growth or development delays. They'll sometimes even say, hey, don't worry, they'll grow out of it. Well, we now know that for most kids, these symptoms or conditions, they're signs of some trouble brewing deep within the nervous system. But if we don't measure them correctly, it's really hard for us to find it. So that's why we look at this technology, because when we look at that, that allows us to see how kiddos are functioning, not just how they're feeling. Now, I don't want to overwhelm you with all this kind of technology and neurology talk, but I am kind of a nerd, so I'm gonna go in on that route. But I promise you it's super simple to understand. And it's really, really cool when you see this for your own kids of not only how their body's functioning, but how that comes into play with the output, with their behaviors, with their actions, with their development. And the reason this is, when we think about our central nervous system or our brain, it's a two-way street. There's one set of nerves called a sensory nerve that sends information to the body um, from the brain and then back, um, that's really important, really tracking that internal environment communication of what it's dealing with and handling that external environment. But the other set of nerves is termed the motor control nerves. These send signals to the brain and the spinal cord that tell the various parts of the body what to do, right? When to move, how to react, even the littlest movements such as chewing or eye contact or those kind of things. Those are all key too. Now, because neurological communication within this nervous system has a really important job, there's actually around, gosh, I estimate here because it's always different, right? About 37, 40 million cells in the human body all working at the same time for this to happen very fast. Clear lines of communication too, right? Like when you see an intruder or when you see something you need to react to that's fearful, right? Everything responds. Your eyes respond, your ears respond, your senses respond, your body responds, right? With all those things. And so we were meant to do this fast. In fact, we were designed to operate well past 5G capabilities long before it was invented. So we certainly can't have our kids operating on something less than that, right? Remember dial up? That was a scary time, my friends. If you're as old as me, you remember the AOL dial up, right? On the computer when we were all kids. Now, the particular way we look at this for kids is there's actually a scan and it's called an EMG scan. Now an EMG scan looks specifically at the energy within the muscles and the neuro control of those muscles within the body. And this serves perfect storm kids the best. Now it's the best form of testing that we can do for conditions like autism, Asperger's, sensory integration disorders, ADHD, and even anxiety. Now that's because each of these neurodevelopmental or neurosensory challenges is rooted in stuck tension, altered tone, exhaustion of that neuromotor system. Most every parent of a, of a kiddo with a child that's either on the spectrum or struggling with sensory you know, struggles is familiar with the word tone. And having worked with outstanding professionals like PTs, OTs, speech therapists, 
that tone word comes into play a lot. If there is altered tone or tension within the neuromuscular system, what that EMG measures, there's gonna be altered lines of communication and the body can't work as fast as it needs to. Now, neurological and tone challenges, they're just a big deal as motor function and development determine brain function and development. So that means if we look at this EMG and we detect patterns of stuck tension, lower tone, imbalance, the brain is almost certainly stuck in a sympathetic fight or flight tone or state because it can't figure out what the body's doing and that's gonna lead to an imbalance between its core functions with regulating emotions, development, behavior, learning, and memory, right? When one thing goes wrong in our body, it's never just exclusive, it's never just that. It affects all different areas of the nervous system, not just the motor system, the sensory, the learning, the development. Now there's three common findings that we find on a pediatric EMG scan. And I really just wanna briefly discuss them here because I think they'll be very relatable to you as parents. Now, sometimes we do this EMG scans on kids and we see a lot of tension on it. It looks like color, but a lot of it's tension or energy. These kiddos we nickname Raging Bull. These are kiddos whose nervous system is stuck on the gas pedal. Parents, you know who you are. If your kid is making circles around you right now when you're trying to watch this video, they are entirely stuck in a sympathetic state of dominance. Um, leading to challenges with hyperactivity, impulsivity, anxiety, difficulty sleeping, and so forth. Raging bulls have too much tension and that too much tension is overfilling the brain. It's sending signals to the brain that say, hey, I need to go fast and when you go fast, I'm gonna feel comfortable. If not, I'm not. And so a raging bull kiddo is too much tension that's overwhelming the brain and then causing that output to be too hyperactive. Now, on the flip side, calming that allows the brain to calm. Now, the second finding is what we nickname the drunken bull. A drunken bull, very different from a raging bull, is, is struggling with coordination, focus, maybe reading comprehension, communication. Things go slower. They try to do things safer. They focus maybe more on the sensory side of things. I mean, hey, that doesn't feel right. I wanna take my time. I wanna be more protective with this. And that's because we find a lot of a lot of the EMG telling us that there's a lot of discoordination in their neuromuscular system. So we actually find this by not as much a high energy problem, but as a tone challenge where there's more lower tone in different places. There might be tone in the wrong places. They might have way more tension in their upper neck and not enough tension in the core. And that causes their brain to look at things maybe a little more fearfully, maybe a little more um, carefully, and they go slower, but they're not as coordinated with those movements. So that's a side that we find too. Now, there's also a combination of this. It's when you get the high tone kiddo, high tension kiddo that wants to go fast, but then they also have areas of exhaustion or they're also worn out. Now, this happens to a lot of kids as they grow older they often end up with both. They end up with challenges with where it was hyperactivity and now it's turned into more anxiety. Now it's turned into more fear. Now it's turned into maybe more long-term coordination problems because the entire nervous system is overwhelmed because that neuromotor system is overwhelmed and it's telling the brain, hey, I'm confused. There's too much going on and that's then the output that they give. So that's the negative sides of the things that we find. Now, the most exciting part, if I can transition here, about what we do with pediatric chiropractic is we can then see the changes in these EMG scans as we care for these kiddos. If the nervous system is really wound up, it calms down. If it's really discoordinated, it organizes. And because they're still learning and growing so fast, they can adapt at such a faster pace. We can make these changes and their brains and bodies can get on that same page and it's really quite incredible to see the changes. But when it can't, it wreaks havoc on everything else and development for years to come. Now, when we dive a, dip, a bit deeper into this particularly set of scanning, 
there's different scoring that we look at. And when we look at what these scores mean, they allow us to quantify the challenge and give you a specific care plan as a parent of how we can help calm those neuromotor signals that are coming from their body and going up to the brain that's either causing overwhelm or discommunica discommunication. Now, I call these scans the insight scans. They do exactly that. They provide insights of understanding the crucial aspects of your child's health in really no other way a practitioner can, right? They're not a blood test. They're not a they're not an MRI, they're not an x-ray, they're not looking at a static state, they're looking at where your child is right now and how he's moving throughout the world immediately when he gets done with that scan. Now the nervous system is truly the mom of the entire body. And what do moms do? They keep everything and everyone on track at all times. I am terrible at that as a dad. And just like quite a few moms, they can get a little wound up and worn out right? My crystal, you never get that way. But if you do and feel that way, that's when, you know, you get overwhelmed and you need that, that reset, but it truly doesn't have to be that way. An EMG scan is a great starting point for your kids because if the nervous system is communicating well, everything else is going to go that way, go that way. Now here at PwC, we put together fully personalized and customized care plans just for you. With each adjustment during that restoration care plan, you'll see the stuck stress, the tension, they leave your child's body. They calm, they relax, and that's when the other functions and healing capacity can really kick in. So if your child is struggling with a lot of different things developmentally, I, I would urge you, look at the function of the nervous system because if the function's off, they're probably not feeling real great. Things are probably not going all right, but we've got to dig into the root cause of that function and really look at the central nervous system exclusively. And that's what an EMG scan can do. It can really give us the answers to qualify and quantify their struggles to bring them help by focusing on the nervous system first. So if this video finds you well, we would love to answer any questions for you. We would love to look at this. Look at the mom of the nervous system, right? The the, uh, the, the, the the body. And so we're here for you. We're here to help. Send us a direct message and we would love to get, get you the resources you need because the nervous system is so powerful and it is the just the, the space that's going to help your children thrive. Thanks guys.